Good morning. Boom. Good morning. Good morning. I was just everybody. telling Shane that his hair looks like Superman's mm. hair today. It's a little wild. Superman. <laughs> so the weather's really nice, and I like to drive with the window down in the oh. morning. And uh, so I put my goop in my hair or whatever, and I drive, and then it just does goes whatever crazy, it wants to do. I dig it. It adds a little style. It's a little more natural. Yeah. Yeah. I really got to figure out how Destry gets that thing going on. No, I don't like how clean it is. I actually prefer it to be a little messy and natural looking. You're going to have to <laughs> roll much. the window down next. Yeah. Yes. That's not natural. No. <laughs> Dang. Do you blow dry? No. Honestly, all I do is blow dry, and then I just put hairspray because I'm out of gel right now, so I need to go buy gel. gel. I said that last week. Gel? <laughs> oh. We better get him some gel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's how I feel about my beard. I actually have a lot of beard going on, and I do nothing for it, so that's yeah. like my... Uh, you don't, like, comb it and stuff? Listen, only when I sleep on it funny and sideways, and I have to, like, do something with it, but <laughs> other than that, so anyway, well, we are, uh, we are excited for the show. We are. Uh, we're very excited for our guest, Larry Topping. He is uh, going to oh. come on. He's got a big event going on. I'm sure God, most yeah. of you guys Huge. already know, but we're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Easter's coming up. Easter's coming up. Which means peeps, right? Yeah, you have to eat peeps. So there's like uh, two sides to this thing. You either love peeps or you hate peeps, right? Yeah. I'm not a peep type of guy. Listen, Overrated. I hate peeps. <laughs> they suck. Do you <laughs> love chocolate? I love chocolate. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I like peeps. I like pink. What do you guys do blue, for Easter? Blue, yellow. Do you do like uh, whole thing Easter or? Sunday. Yeah, we usually go to my aunt's house and you know just get together with the family, have some nice dinner, have some drinks, they stuff like that. They have a lot of family. I got a lot of family, so yes. yeah. there's two thousand. We entertain each other. Needles. <laughs> needles. Yeah, yeah. two thousand. <laughs> he is one half of the population. Yeah. Of needles, so uh. it's actually fifty <laughs> Phillips now. <laughs> uh, so I read a thing. You know, we always had like Easter dinners, and I read a thing that said uh, families are like not, not charging, but they're like making people kind of bring something because everything's so expensive right yeah, now. Yeah, it gets yeah. exhausting if, if you're the host. my mom tells me I have to buy something to come eat, I'm going to be going. really pissed. So. <laughs> Checking out of this year, yeah. Mom. I'm so sorry. No pressure, Mom, but I'm not paying for anything. Nope. So, uh, nope. well, so excited for Easter. We have some other cool stuff going on in town. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that uh, they did, what did they call it, a, a test at Davis Dam? Yeah. Yes. So Water test. The first time since 2014, mm. they did a water test. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. I wish I wish I would have known so we could, you know, go get some photos of it or video. You got some video. Well, luckily, I think uh, whose whose video do we have here? Picture. I this know, is uh, actually a Metropolitan Police Department over there in Las Vegas. This is their footage they took of it. You can see a plane above, right above Christie's head there. So, showing <laughs> how old I remember back in the day, people took their boats right up to the edge of the dam. Yeah, like, that's safe. Oh, it was awesome. I don't yeah. know how safe it was, yeah, but it was no. awesome. Was and, it safe? Uh, I'm very not. You know, obviously you can't get that close now, but uh, that is a lot of water. Yeah, I don't want to get stuck under there. And listen, don't let out too much because we got some water problems out here. That's we right. we got some water problems. <laughs> you guys got to go easy on Can the water. serve on the water, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Old that Dominion is really cool. was here this last weekend. I don't know. I didn't get to go. but so I didn't get to go, and that was one of those things where I was like, who's Old Dominion? And then they played a bunch of songs. I was like, oh, well, shoot, I, I, know do know, them. I yeah. do know a bunch of those songs. Of course, I'm not a big music guy, so I'm not that guy who's like, oh, that song was something, something, 1985. <laughs> da, 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 da. Like, I never heard of them. Yeah. They're too old for me. Old for me. <laughs> <laughs> we got that kid over here. here <laughs> no idea you guys so are talking about. Uh, <laughs> no. Destry, what do you listen to? What's your uh, what's on your playlist right now? It depends what kind of mood I'm in, honestly. Like if I'm like if I'm Better hustling. Been a good mood on your way into work today. If I'm in a good mood, probably some MGK, like some punk rock. Ooh, yeah, okay. Up. All yeah. right. Man, so hard being cool. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> to be young yeah. again. Get you motivated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, listen, I listen to, like, the same. I don't even realize. I'm like, wow, this is a great song. Like, this song's, like, 15 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I know all the words, all the beats. Yeah. You got to hang out with the learn, kids to hear uh, the new songs, and then you're like, what <coughs> is me. this? And yeah. why well, I are hang out with uh, my son and his friends occasionally, and we let them pick the music in the weight room once in a while. Yeah, and, uh, that could get I dangerous. I am like, yeah. oh, boy, what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, so. Is this appropriate is, is always the question. <laughs> Not very. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely but, not know. ideal. So, no. um, we also had a. Uh, so last year we got involved in Backpack Buddies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was really cool. We had a lot of folks from the store go out and volunteer their time and this and that. Yeah. And we decided to continue that again this year, and um, we actually got to, uh, you know, have them come up and we made a little donation and yes. we're going to come out in. Again, this, yeah, so yeah. the Legacy Foundation um, is a great, you know, a great foundation in town. If you know anything about them, they do a lot of donating to the schools, um, really all over. And all the backpack over. Everything program, everything you see says Legacy. Yeah, 
that's where it comes from. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really a huge, huge program. Um, they've started their backpack program, which allows, um, it's been K through six, was able to come in and get really everything that they need to start school with. Um, they are now expanding, as they talked to us about yesterday, um, up into high school. We know, we spend a lot of time in the high schools, and you, you know, you always think yeah. these little ones need so much, but it goes. That need does goes. not magically stop when they get to It high does school. not, so no. So we are excited to be part of that. We were able to do a donation to them yesterday um, for part of the backpack program, which is exciting. And then again, we as they allow us, Finley is great um, we got in a supporting that, us. Didn't we? yeah, yeah, I think we did get a picture of that, Jeff. Letting us go as teams down. We always like to do our big check. So uh, here we go. We uh, oh, we got to do a big check, and we got to have uh, Terry Tomlinson and Rebecca Vaughn come up. Yes. Big and, check. Uh, and actually uh, present them with the check, and we're very excited. And we're actually going to try and get them on the show. I, mm -hmm. I'd love That's to right. talk yes. to them more. And they will be here May nineteenth, actually. Those mm -hmm. girls. Look at you being. Make organized. sure oh, to tune in. Look at I'm you trying. being organized. <laughs> May nineteenth. <19th. laughs> uh, so. That's uh, that's super exciting, and then I don't know if you guys know this or not, but it's tax time. Ooh. Tax time. Oh. Tax season. I don't know if you guys filed your taxes. Yes, of course, everything on time. Somebody might have filed an extension. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but it is tax time, and uh, if you guys don't know this, one of the cool things that we do is Kona Ice reached out to us years ago, and for tax day, where everybody's stressing out, kind of freaking out about either having to maybe pay some taxes, file some taxes. Yeah, paperwork it. for taxes uh, is exhausting. They have decided to come back on the 18th and have free Kona here at the used mm. car center. Uh, so big thanks to them, and it's a nice, fun little pick-me-up. So we're going to check out a little promotion. I think. <laughs> it's on. It's coming. It's on. Here we go. This is all of us at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Looks good. I like Kona Ice. Aww. Hey, you know you're having a good day when they're there. Listen, if they bring a penguin, I'm going to be excited. <laughs> <laughs> that could be hey, me. We could have a mascot hey, this is war. Be everybody here, we're going to require dancing. Look at those moves. I look like, it looks like Finley and Kona are doing a dance video when they're here. Listen. Yeah, there it is. Chill out day. So we're super excited to have them back. And uh, I do know Adam Hurley, big dancer. He oh, is yeah. a big dancer. So, Let's get a video uh, of him. Dance we off. will <laughs> have him replicate that video. And yeah, make a, I yep. think we should. Yeah. I think he was it, in the so. Kona Ice video last time. Uh, he yeah, probably he was. Listen, yes. as soon as the Kona Ice truck shows up, Adam Hurley pops up out of his office. <laughs> he's a he's big so Kona guy. He runs out there and he's out there just... I'm making like like get two in before they leave or what, but I don't know where Adam's at, but... You better dance for that kind of Yes, year, we got so. some big news too. Today we'll be at the R the Needles High School baseball games for our sports light. We have um, Needles and River Valley. They are leading both their um, mm, really Needles yes. doing good conferences. Yeah, so we're excited. So look forward to that. And if sport you don't light. know, we've got a little Needles pride over here, oh. a little River Valley oh, pride. Oh, so uh, RBHS go there. fight win. Yeah, they're going to be out there face paint and everything yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. Wear yeah. red today. We're Team Finley I mean, right now, but when it's when it's 4 p.m., mm -hmm. Team Needles. That's how I go. <laughs> the red shirt the comes green. on, huh? Yep. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that is actually a really fun thing because. Obviously, most of us know, but if maybe you're not familiar with the valley, the schools are only a couple miles apart, yeah. really. You know, and so it's it's unique because, you know, Needles was there a long time. River Valley was a new school, kind of divided up that yeah. community a little bit. And then it's in California. They're blue and red. Like yeah. It's just, yeah. It's a rivalry. It's a rivalry. So, uh, it's pretty polarizing. Go out, check it out, have some fun, uh, get some pizza while you're out in Needles. You got good yeah. pizza. There. Good pizza. Nice. Oh, yeah, that pizza place is awesome. I yeah, love so them. All Guys, right, with that being said. I'm super excited. We're going to bring Larry on, and we're going to talk about what he's got going on. Have so, a great uh, day. If you have any questions, shoot them in. Jeff will get them over to us. Yeah, get ready, guys. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Very cool.
I never know if Destry tunes me out or not when he sits in that chair. So, <laughs> so it's nice to have a guy with a good beard on. That's what I've been looking for this whole time. So, uh, welcome aboard. It's trimmed right now. I know. You're I, a little listen, bush, bushier than I am. Right? I uh, I probably need to trim it. I try to get away with it until people start saying, "Man, you look like a bushman out there," and then I'm right. like, "Okay, I'll, I better trim it before they fire me." So, um, <clears throat> you are putting together what has become our primary motorcycle run here in town. Tell us yes. a little bit about it. Well, we uh, we started out last year because uh, the former River Run is not going to happen anymore. Now, it when seems. did they stop doing that? Well, uh, it seems like it died 2019, a while ago, but, uh. in, in two, from <laughs> what I understand, in 2019, uh, they didn't even really want to do it, and uh, they had to for whatever reason. And 2020, with uh, the pandemic, uh, pretty much put a put a nail in the coffin, nail in so the coffin right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then for 2021, when there was not going to be anything happening, I definitely didn't want to see that happen because, you know, my my tattoo convention that I've been coordinating for the last 15 years coincided with the River Run, and I wanted that to continue. And one of the uh, the great things was is that there was a tattoo convention, which is a great attractant, and a motorcycle rally that's a great attractant. Mm -hmm. And they worked together well for 15 years. Uh, so I just kind of just picked up the reins for the motorcycle rally, too. So now we were talking a little bit earlier. Uh, I mean, listen, it sounds like it's a big undertaking for you to take this on and keep it alive. And it sounds like it went well last year, and it's going to be even bigger this year. Yeah. Oh, man, we got we have so much going on. Uh, I couldn't do it all You're by myself. Tell me a little bit about yeah. it. You know, you got a little team going for you. Yep. Uh, you have some big events. Uh, tell me a little bit about the events you had going. You said you had a, a show. You got an after party. So there's a lot to explain. Everything is available on the website, bullheadriverrun.com. All of the information. And there's so much information. It's a, a, a lot to sift through. So be patient and uh, sift through it all. But uh, uh, we have... Uh, two outdoor locations where we're going to have vendors, beer garden, and live music. And that's the Anderson Field House and the Bullhead City Community Park. The Bullhead City Community Park is where uh, we're going to, it's going to be kind of a more laid back, relax, uh, sit down, watch the river go by while you listen to the live music and drink a beer. And uh, there's going to be uh, a, a big, uh, my big buildup of vendors is going to be at the Ander Anderson Fieldhouse. And uh, on Friday and Saturday, we're going to be doing uh, uh, the, uh, every hour on the hour, they're going to be doing stunts in the parking lot there. And <clears throat> we're going to have live music as, there, uh, as well there, a beer garden. And uh, uh, Mother Road Harley Davidson will be there at the Anderson Fieldhouse. And we'll also have a uh, vendor doing sound. Uh, at the the Bullhead City Community Park, uh, they're actually going to take the position that uh, Speed Performance normally takes right there in, in front of the chamber. Cool. Uh, speed Performance is actually going to be in Panama City, which is uh, happening the same dates as, as our rally. Uh -huh. I was going to go to one or the other. I decided to go to this one instead of Panama this year. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> good for you. Good for you. One or the other. So yeah. <coughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, how are you guys going to set that up? Are you guys going to be out in that front main parking lot, or are you going to yeah. be in that big back area? In the Anderson Fieldhouse, field house, we're going to be in the front uh, parking lot. We're going to utilize the back area for uh, uh, vehicle parking. Uh, we have uh, slated motorcycle parking, parking inside the fenced area, inside the event area, as well as outside the event area. Uh, also, along Bullhead City or uh, Bullhead Parkway, mm -hmm. there's going to be motorcycle parking. And then uh, that little sub road where they're doing the the uh, on the the west side of, towards of the river. yeah towards the river. There's going to be a motorcycle parking over there as well. That's where uh, on that side is like towards where they're building that new bridge, yeah. right? Right, yeah. right. And that that'll be open for next year, uh, which will be great be cool, uh, huh? because uh, that's going to uh, bring a, a, a big increase of traffic that's going in front of the Anderson Fieldhouse. We're looking forward to that. Very cool. Now, you said that you had a couple of, uh, you know, like obviously this stuff takes a lot of effort and a lot of money to put together, things like that. You had some things that were actually driving some money for you that, that uh, you had a really cool bike raffle you said yep. you had, right? Uh, the bike raffle is a fundraiser to pay for all the stuff that's happening at the event. Um, it's $100, and it uh, there's only 300 tickets being sold. Uh, so when there's 300 tickets sold, we, we pull the raffle and we make it happen. Is that a bike really or is that just a graphic? 
That's, that's the actually flyer. that's actually the flyer, and that is the the make and model and year of the motorcycles, the 2016 uh, right. Harley Davidson Street Bob, yeah. and uh, it has uh, 11,000 miles on it, or or so. Um, it's got less than that right now, but. Uh, <laughs> Hey, it's really quick. It's it's a fast bike. I've been enjoying I like it. So listen, I uh, I have appraised cars for many years, and I valued cars and things like that. And I'm not a smart guy, and I don't know anything about motorcycles, but I guarantee you that's more than a hundred dollar bike. So oh, yeah. Yeah. you guys uh, you guys are into that, and I know you guys all gamble because I see these sports book things. Uh, you guys are gonna gamble way worse odds than that. Go put a hundred bucks in and see if you can't uh, get yourself a really cool bike. So yep. now the other one that you said. The other, Sounds the like other, a pretty, pretty awesome event too. Yeah, it is. Uh, the Quiet Riot Count Seventy Seven concert is happening Friday the 29th, and that's also a fundraiser for the event and uh, to to make money for to pay for everything that's happening, including the Quiet Riot and Count Seventy Seven concert. Shane knows a Quiet Riot song. Yeah, uh, I heard, I heard yeah, you singing yeah. it. Yeah, he was yeah. singing. When he was talking <laughs> I'm a great about singer. It. You guys really want that in a microphone? I promise you. So, um, now where is that at? That's going to be inside the Anderson Fieldhouse. Inside the Fieldhouse. Yeah. So, Doors I don't know if you've ever been there. It's a pretty nice little venue. Yeah. Uh, seats a few thousand mm-hmm. people. and It's big enough to host, but small enough where it's like a, a close experience. You're not going to be, you know, having to bring right. your binoculars out to get a view. Yeah, of looking music, at a monitor so, to yeah. make sure that you have a, a view of what's happening on the stage. Very Everybody's cool. going to be really close to the stage. In this that one. Sounds like, uh, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty good time, um, well organized. Do you have any idea how many people you're expecting this year? Um, you know, I'd say probably 15, 20,000. You can 20, RSVP everybody, right? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, I, I, you know, it, uh, let's, let's say, let's say 20,000 people were in town last year, and I had 6,000 people come through my gates with no promotion. Uh, put on in eight weeks. Yeah, that uh, was a short notice. That one. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, it was a good success. Everybody had a good time. Uh, there was some some bugs and some kinks, and and we worked those out. We readdressed that and put that energy back we into this year. We have never put on an event of that size, and there's always little bugs and kinks. It's no just kind of what, it just comes yeah. with the territory. People were imperfect. Things happen. Weather, timing, you name it. I mean, right. There's always variables, and uh, to go off as well as it did last year is great. And that's probably why this is going to be a big success this year. Yeah. Um, now, you also mentioned that um, you have a group involved uh, in your run that has been in this town and they've done a great job. That's that Menifier. Yeah, the Menifier uh, MC uh, puts on the en- Menifier MC Veterans Poker Run uh, every year, and they've been doing it for the last 10 years. This will be the 10th year. And they've put, uh, I think it's like $95,000 uh, total into the River Fund over the last 10 years. Yeah, that's, nice. That's fin- and you know we have um, we have sponsored a couple of their things like that. They're a great group of guys. Yeah, they you are. Know, um, and they, uh, sorry, I got a niche. It's uh, all good. But they've uh, <laughs> they've done a great job <laughs> giving back and really promoting positively all the stuff that they do, the runs and yep. this and that. So did they approach you or did you approach them or it was just kind of a natural uh, well, cohesion uh, there? Well, uh, n- they didn't really know that I was going to be doing anything in 2021, uh, and. Uh, I wanted them to know that I was doing something and that uh, they were welcome to continue their uh, poker run and that I would promote it for them, and I didn't expect anything. I just wanted to uh, make that happen uh, in conjunction with what I was doing. And and uh, I I talked to the president. The president talked to the guys, and uh, the guys all said, yeah, let's, let's, let's make it happen. And uh, we did. And it was – Very cool. It went off – Smashingly, yeah. They're one really of those groups good. in town that's it's it's actually relatively under the radar, but they do a great job and uh, they are involved in a lot of things. So uh, shout out to those guys. Uh, we yeah. appreciate you, and we're glad you guys all got together on this. Now, I know we talked a little bit beforehand, and it's a little messy, but there's actually like some other things going on. How, how, did you just spark all that? Where you uh, you're like a magnet, and everybody just wants to be a part of what you're doing. <laughs> well, uh, you know, if you if if something's good, if something good is happening and something that's profitable, uh, you know, you're going to get business people that are interested in making money that uh, want to get involved. And so, uh, yeah, that's happened. Uh, there's a lot of proxy events that have sprouted up uh, around me. Well, it's probably like. A- We'd have some uh, different activities happening, uh, sprouting up around me over the next couple years. But uh, everything seems to uh, have been uh, accelerated this year. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you that I think there's a little bit of a, um, 
pent up want and need to get out and do things that people feel like they missed out on or maybe yeah. uh because the world's just so crazy lately well the world's been shut down for two years yeah and uh mm -hmm. so you know come out and you know do what you should have been doing now you said you were down in phoenix for uh the big bike week down there recently. yeah az bike week how yeah. was that was that uh, uh, i had a good time and yeah. uh everybody was really nice down there and uh i actually talked to uh, a couple of the coordinators and i talked to the mc the mc uh, uh was able to give out some quiet ride tickets for me and give us a shout out down there so i, I definitely want to thank them for that um uh, i met lisa and tina and and uh a couple of the bartenders down there, I gave them some cards and said if they wanted to come up and be bartenders at ours, and uh, a couple that's of cool. them called us, yeah. And, and I think uh, Quiet Riot's the biggest band that's ever come to the Fieldhouse for sure, right? I well, mean, there's only been two. Two, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so Joni Messinas and, and whoever played with, with her. I feel like that's one of those, that's a total matter of perspective, right? Somebody well, probably like, who? You know? Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. Joni Messina. Well, Quiet Riot, same with Quiet Riot, too. <laughs> like, uh, people people didn't know who Quiet Riot until you sing one of their songs. Right, like, yeah. Oh, that's Quiet Riot. That's who they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Let's talk about the tattoo convention, too. You got that going on, right? Yeah, yeah that's going to be that. at the Aquarius. Uh, we're taking over the entire second floor uh, convention area, including the foyer and the meeting rooms and both sides of the pavilion. Um, right now, I've got about 105, 110 tattoo artists that are signed up wow. and ready to rock. Can we get Shane one? A tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, we can get him in there. Definitely get Shane for one. He was talking about it. I mean, yeah. See Listen, I've been talking about tattoos for like 20 years, so. <laughs> <laughs> if I talk about it for another 20, I'll be ready. Let's go. <laughs> After you know, 40 so, years, I'll get yeah. one. <laughs> now, uh, with the tattoo convention, is that still kind of your primary thing, or have you kind of grown to where you just have to oversee everything at this point? I'm overseeing everything. Yeah. yeah uh, I have uh, location, location managers. And uh, and then I've got a bar manager, and then I've got a volunteer coordinator. So how many people do you have involved in this thing? I mean, working directly. Obviously, you're gonna have volunteers. You have, you know, how many people are actually helping you put this together? Um, there's probably about eight, eight, nine, ten uh, committee members. Um, uh, most, you know, most of them uh, come in and help uh, uh, at, as they can. You know, they can't just dump everything that they've got going on and I don't expect them to uh, which is why it's great to have uh, uh, a bunch of them because together it makes everything easier for me so whatever they pick up it just is one less thing that I got to deal with <laughs> well listen good I'm telling you right now for a guy with a great team uh, having good help makes everything work better yes uh, it's very hard to focus on things when you you know have to constantly get back involved and things like that so um, shout out to the team, you guys uh, helping make this thing happen. Yes, so. thank you all very much. You want to give any personal shout outs there? You got a favorite? Well, uh, uh, you know, definitely Steve uh, Kirby uh, from Kirby's Law and Chris Murillo uh, from Kirby's Law. They have been very helpful, and I, we really, we we all as a community have to thank them for the investment that they've made into our area. Uh, they've just been very helpful financially and uh, as far as uh, guidance uh, when doing this big motorcycle rally, which uh, Steve Kirby is a motorcyclist, and he's been handling accident law for a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, you have a motorcycle injury, make sure you call Steve Kirby. Shout out Steve Kirby. Yeah. But be safe out there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> actually, it's, it's actually Dolan Kirby now. So we're, we're, we're actually our, our sponsor is Chris Dolan. And Steve Kirby. But Steve Kirby has is, is been, like, uh, hands-on with me this whole time. Jeff, did you freeze us, or is that just our screen there? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, no, it just sometimes does that. <laughs> I looked really bad in that picture, so I was really concerned. <laughs> so <laughs> He did that on purpose. I figured yeah. he did. He's like, I would oh, never do that on so, purpose. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, you know what? Uh, relaxation after it's over. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen, we know that feeling too. No, uh, I, I'm looking forward to the Quiet Riot concert. That's actually uh, so complications. So I do complicated tattoos. I do tattoos. I don't know if everybody knows that, but I do tattoos, and, and I like to do really complicated tattoos. So the more complicated the tattoo, the better the accomplishment it is for me. So that that four hours during the Quiet Riot concert actually is going to be the most complicated undertaking. Um, as far as staffing and uh, coordination is concerned through the whole thing. So when that's over and that goes off without a hitch and the band members are happy and everybody's cool and everybody is uh, stoked, uh, that's going to be uh, the part that I look forward to is, is everyone being stoked with that. 
Uh, I've been in and out of there uh, uh, with the sound team uh, to make sure that we're going to have some really good sound. And uh, we're working with uh, the field house to make sure that uh, all the technical stuff is taken care of before we even get there. So I assume you're working pretty directly with them. Uh, what's what's that like? Are they uh, like you see on TV with like I need 500 yellow M&Ms and uh, <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, nothing really that extreme. Um, but Just uh, 200, 200 M&Ms. No. <laughs> I heard about the uh, the green M and M's. I think that was Van Halen. Is that, uh, yeah, I think I, that was. It's Van been Halen. like the joke on every mm -hmm. uh, like Mike Meyer. Was that Wayne's World? They did that, you know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> no, they, the guys have been really good. Um, they're they're pretty easy going, especially you know uh, uh, the you would think that for being really famous, Count Seventy Seven and Quiet Riot, that uh, they'd have these uh, really uh, crazy needs. But you know, they're just regular dudes, yeah. and they just w didn't want a lot. Hey, we want something to drink. And uh, we want something to eat, and we want to be put up Sounds in a hotel. Sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah. You know. They didn't ask for sweets or anything like that. <laughs> well, luckily Culver's right down there. I can't imagine you're going to be able to get into Culver's this weekend, huh? Uh, Culver's is really looking forward to this. Oh, I bet. Uh, Lori Deshane over at Culver's has been uh, a, spon is a sponsor. She was a sponsor last year. She's been uh, a great uh, advocate for the event, and uh, uh, her and her team are prepared down there at Culver's for us to make them really, really busy. Jeff, I don't know what you're showing us yeah, right there. We're but, talking uh, about Culver's. This, this, this yeah, man, we're talking about ice cream. I look up. We <laughs> yeah, got, this uh, is a preview of what's what's to come. Is yeah, what this absolutely. Is. Yeah. Man, so. you're on a way uh, way more exciting track than we are. We're, <laughs> well, don't worry. Ice yeah. cream I wanted on the way also, back to the store. We are <laughs> still listening. Don't worry. We do have uh, the after party. I don't think we brought up the after party that's going to be happening sun or Saturday, the 30th, and that's going to be at uh, the E Center in Laughlin. Uh, but we also have multiple after parties that are uh, unofficial after parties that are happening at uh, multiple uh, venues here in town. Local bars. Local bars. Yeah. The lo local watering holes. Yeah. Right. Are there the bands playing at them? Yep. The official yep. after parties at the E Center. Now that's right on location. Yeah, that's there. after mayhem. So, <laughs> okay. so uh, after mayhem is the official uh, logo or title for uh, the uh, mayhem after party. Um, and that's going to be going down over there. We're going to have beer drinkers and Hellraisers playing in there, and Suicide Clutch is going to be playing in there. Cool. That's actually a pretty awesome venue. You know, when they built the, uh, you know, the other one, it kind of like overtook everything. But it's a pretty sweet spot. Yeah. Uh, actually, I remember being in the original tent, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that that place is pretty interesting. Uh, I remember uh, interesting thing that happened while uh, we had the tattoo convention in there is is uh, we came in one morning. And there was this nut, like off of a bolt, you know, that fell from the ceiling. And it was like <laughs> that big. Wow. Uh, and we're, we were all like, wow, glad it happened while the thing was closed down. Yeah. Uh, because, like, if somebody was in there, it would crush their skull. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's heavily frowned upon the crushed skull. Yeah, yeah definitely. So. <laughs> that big of a bolt yeah. for sure. Yeah, this isn't a TV show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's bad news. All right. So. Uh, did you uh, did you come? Were you here in town, and were you uh, participating in the original run back in the day? Or, well, uh, uh, for the last fifteen years, I've been tattoo. putting on the tattoo convention yeah. uh, that has coincided uh, and, and ran in conjunction with the the Laughlin River Run. And so, uh, I guess I say <laughs> back. That's before uh, you know all the craziness and this and that. It used to be like the whole town came out and was super excited about. It. Is that kind of where you're getting back to, you want to be well, as big as possible. I, I think or the whole town. I think the whole town uh, never really lost uh, uh, excitement about it. But uh, I think what happened was is that uh, the numbers uh, became so small that uh, there wasn't an overflow. So there was a point where you know Laughlin has a capacity. Mm -hmm. Let's let's be realistic. You put anything in a certain space, and and now you don't have any more room in there. It's going to overflow. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the point where you were overflowing from Laughlin, you were bringing revenue to Bullhead. Um, there was a point where it wasn't overflowing into Bullhead anymore, so there wasn't a lot of activity that was happening on this side. Um, I knew that, um, and which is why I tried to put a crew of guys over there for the tattoo, uh, for, for the river run to just do tattoos, just a, uh, just my crew of guys over there for, from the tattoo, uh, tattoo shop. And then uh, I, I put my feelers out there to get some space, and then somebody came back to me and asked me what I could do with 30,000 square feet. And then the tattoo convention was born. There you that have was it. In, that's cool. that we did the first one in 2008. Man, time flies. Yeah. Jeff, are we out of time? I think we're out of time.
Larry, I appreciate talking to you. It, you know, we talked a little bit earlier, um, you know, off camera, and uh, man, what a great effort to put this thing together, and uh, I can't wait to see. It was always such a fun time. Um, I worked at Finley when the River One was at its peak, and I remember there used to be people lined up all the way back to where Finley's at from the light. Trying yeah. to get across and, the bridge, uh, yeah. Now, obviously, yeah. I know that that's not necessarily the goal, but it was a very fun, exciting time. We all really enjoyed it, so I appreciate you bringing it back, man. Yeah, Thank you very and, much. Uh, Congratulations. We, we look forward to my pleasure. I'm glad to do it. Super successful event, and uh, now I'm going to get my Culver's, so. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good, actually. I'm down here on this end of town. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's go. And next week, <laughs> who do we have on mixers. next week? I don't know who we got, Jeff. Chief of Police. Chief of Police. Yeah, next Hey, that's week. perfect. Perfect follow-up. Yep, that's right. Right? Nothing goes together like Chief so, of Police. So Michael, tune right? in for that yeah. episode. <laughs> Until I'll be meeting then. with him soon, too. Yeah, he's yeah, a good go. dude, so I look forward to talking to him also. Yeah. So Until then. Cool. We're out of here, guys. We'll Thank see you very you all much. Later.